All right, guys, this is me coming out my hair right now. Oh. oh, what? Oh my god. You must be wondering how this all started. This is me. I'm Activerse. Activerse Universe. Well, that doesn't matter. Really, I decided to comb out my dreadlocks. I have decided to comb out my dreadlocks. The way I wanted to do it was simple, which is combing out one lock a day. Now that I hear myself saying it, it sounds pretty hard. So I just begin. I'm gonna be using no water, no conditioner on my first day. What? I know, that is weird. It sounds weird as heck. I'm attempting one of the craziest way to comb out your draw locks. No product in my hair. This attempt can only mean two things. Either I'm gonna lose so much hair that I'm just gonna have barely any minimum hair, or I'm just not gonna get through the whole process because it's just gonna be that hard. Alexa, set a stopwatch. I don't advise you to use that comb. What? I'm gonna start with a red dreadlocks. It took me a few seconds to realize one thing. I mean, it's obvious even from the beginning, even before I started. First of all, I'm using a metal comb. Metal comb is one of the toughest comb there is on your hair. Secondly, I'm not using any conditioner, any oil, or any water. So that can all result into one final thing. That dry and combing out your hair is the riskiest thing you can do on your hair. Dry combing it is not it. Every time I try to get to a length to where I have some out, what happens is it starts to break off from up here and then it comes out just like that. Literally smells like a burnt firecracker. All of us can take away one thing from this. If you guys ever try to bleach your hair, especially fully bleach your hair up to your scalp and looking for the comb it out in the future, that might not be the best ideal option for you. I know I'm not using conditioner and water, but at the same time, the amount of bleach damage caused on your hair is not worth it if you're looking to comb it out. This purple not gonna damage none of the towels. That's why I always advise people not to touch your roots. <laughs> 10 out of 10, for sure, for sure. If y'all need y'all hair done, dyed, anything. This man but without any hesitation, I kept on going. I wanted to see how much of my hair will be lost if I do this. I knew that I didn't want to be bald. That was one of the first fears that I had starting to combat my dreadlocks. But I'm gonna be bald headed. You're not gonna be bald headed. <laughs> I am gonna be bald headed. Let go of me. I felt like that fear was catching up to me. So I had to refocus again. As I was focusing, I had to muster up some kind of motivation. So I thought about Post My Hater. Post My Hater hated on me so bad that I wanted to prove that I can make YouTube a living. So this year I set out my goal to hitting 100K. In doing so, I will be gaining so much support that can help me do YouTube as a full-time career. I've gone down to the part where I have my regular hair, which is the black part that I haven't dyed yet. Everything that was dyed is already gone, all on the floor. Still smells awful. If I were to rub it in, that's the dreadlock that came out of here. Dry combing it, this is the problem. You cannot dry comb your dreadlocks. Don't try it at home. The funniest part about people that say don't try this at home are the ones trying it at home. But really guys, I'm taking this 45 days to find out the best way to comb out your hair so that you can utilize and save a lot of your hair from falling out. When I had originally planned on combing out my hair, I had this person comment on my video saying that, that she sees me combing out my hair at the end of the year, which was 2021 at that time. It's crazy because I remember her saying it and me thinking it at that time. And all I thought about was how the heck does she know that? She must be a psychic or Harry Potter's grandma. See, I'm a spiritual person. I I strictly believe in the power of God being pure. Anything else is not. Psychics, warlock, witchcraft, anything like that is not of God and so I'm not with it. So she had mentioned that I would cut off my hair but I went ahead and combed out my hair. But for some reason what I'm doing right now seemed like I was cutting my hair. But I still couldn't lose hope. I could not fulfill that demonic prophecy. I gotta fulfill what it is that I want to do and that is combing out my hair. So after realizing all the bleach part of my hair was almost cut off, I had to start believing that the rest of it have to be preserved. I began to start thinking about the scripture that says I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me. So I had to act a verse. I'm seeing if the regular not dyed dreadlock can actually come out dry without conditioner and water. Like I said, don't try this at home. I know the reason for my hair breaking and everything was the fact that I've had so many bleaches. This is how many bleaches I've had done on my dreadlocks. At least six bleaches 
to A bleaches. So that hair is <laughs> pretty done, you know. I didn't moisturize it because I wanted to try it out and show you guys my recommendation for best way of combing out dreadlocks. So I'm gonna be trying 44 different ways or 45 different ways. That's how many dreadlocks I have to see which one is the best fit. But I started doing this. I didn't want to lose this part of the hair because I'm going this back of my hair to kind of match this. So I need a little bit of at least left in the hair. I don't want to keep on doing it dry all the way up and then lose a bunch of hair. I don't like when I see that. Even the people when they comb out of hair and their hair is very thin, I want to keep it as thick as possible. And so it's pretty thick so far. I started just using a uh, conditioner and uh, water, kind of like soften it up, and then I started using the back of this rat tail, kind of like pick it out. That's literally the best way uh, so far I've found. This is very sad. Coming on my first dreadlock, not happy with it. It's a lot of work, a lot of memory that goes into this 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 dreadlock right here to just comb it out, meaning like to undo what I've done for like, the past three years is tough. And that's why I wanted to have fun with it as I do it. You know, try different ways, methods, listen to your guys' recommendation uh, that I. Alexa, stop. She's annoying. I'm gonna read those comments that you guys left and uh, I'm gonna apply that to every single one of my dreads. So leave a comment here and I may try that. Hey, look at that. You're looking at your hair come out and I have a bunch of them piled down right there. I'll show you guys later how much hair that I lost. I lost the whole thing in the beginning. Like that, that was, that's already gone. I should have just, you know what I mean? It's the same thing as. But we're gonna comb through all of my dread locks. I don't care. That prophecy, prophet lie, prophet hell no, ain't gonna happen in my house. A lot of hair was falling on the ground and it was kind of discouraging to see. Long ago, before I actually started combing out my hair, I already knew what I wanted to do. Six to eight months prior to me starting to comb out my dreadlocks, I decided not to bleach any higher than what I have my dreadlock bleached thus far. Meaning that I only will be bleaching what I bleached in the beginning of my bleaching journey which was in 2019 when I had the half and half. When I decided to get this bleaching, I didn't know where this journey was gonna take me. At the time, I didn't know much what bleach can do, but I knew one thing, that if I don't do it right, I can damage my hair. So I had to do it right from the beginning. For those of you guys that burned your hair from the get-go, don't keep burning your hair and bleaching your hair and burning your hair. Do what I did, which was growing out your hair with the bleach being in the front and let the rest of it grow naturally so that later on, if you decided to cut it or comb it, you have at least some length. That's kind of what I did. I have about seven inches of unbleached untouched hair right now and my goal was as long as i can preserve that then that's fine with the rest of it i kind of already given up on the rest of them but this was my choice not something that i can recommend for everybody to do it's not the best healthiest way and that's why i put a disclaimer earlier saying don't try this at home guys for the rest of it it's like this is locked right here even right here is just barely locked to be honest with you i can unravel it with my finger if i wanted to and that would be the most safest way than to use a comb anyway so I'm gonna just unravel it with my finger. As you see, boom. Like you see these dreads, it has like buildups in it. I would assume this one would have some too. But no, yeah, it doesn't really. And the length of it is not too bad. If I didn't lose the hair that I lost, I think it would be really, really long. This journey wasn't easy at all. This is the amount of hair that came out of my dreadlock. I'm not here to inspire you guys to do this, but if you end up choosing this journey to comb out your dreadlocks, I'm here to test down and let you know which method will benefit your hair. I'm gonna have 45 days to go, and I'm gonna be uploading every single day for you guys to see the whole journey process. One dreadlock, this amount of hair came out.